Black Oni. What's up, motherfuckers? This is another episode of J Blaze Online. I'm your host, J Blaze 06, and today we're gonna talk about reviews. Why? Because I think it's important for us to talk about reviews right now. There are a lot of people out there who are giving their impressions on things, their uh, reviews, they're giving scores out for games. Uh, the first thing I want to say is that reviews are a lot of work. Like, a lot of work goes behind making these reviews, and I didn't really realize this was a thing. To everyone out there who's doing reviews, whether it's written or video or just vocal reviews, like, I have a new level of appreciation because of what I've done for my first review, which you can see here in an annotation in some way. Um, and I did a review of Dragon's Crown, I really liked the game. Um, I decided as I was kind of thinking about this a little bit, it made more sense for me to go away from a number scaling system. The basic reason why I think the number scale system does not work is it doesn't really give buyers and gamers a real sense of true value behind what it is that the person is reviewing. So I'll give you an example. A game like Riot to Hell Retribution is pretty much universally accepted as a piece of shit. And if the game gets a 1 out of 10, or 2 out of 10, or a 3 out of 10, either way, it's a piece of shit. So that information for viewers and buyers is just not helpful at all. So those numbers don't mean anything. And the same could be said about a game that's like a 6.5 out of 10, or a 7 out of 10, or a 7.5 out of 10. Like, that doesn't actually mean anything. It's just numbers that you're associating with the game. If, if it's within anywhere between 6 and 7.5 to 8, it can be considered a good game depending on the website or whoever's reviewing it. It basically exists to add fuel to the flame war. That's kind of what my feeling is. And you know, other forms of media, for example, you know, movies, um, books, these are often these, these other forms of media are put in the same system. And I think it doesn't work for those either. Uh, for a movie to be considered like a 7.5 or a 7 out of 10 again Like what does that mean to the average person who just wants to go out and have a good time and watch a movie? So, you know, it can go both ways too because a lot of sites and a lot of people They do provide some context to the numbers uh, You have to look into that though You have to kind of like figure out how each website does it how each website has their own context whereas uh, the system that I'm proposing, and hopefully other people will start proposing this as well, we can move away from this number scale system, is I have four criteria basically, or, or four categories, four ratings. Um, one of them is pass. This is for a game that you should just avoid at all costs. Don't even bother spending your time or money on it, even if you get it for free, just don't do it. My next one is to try or rent, um, and that is for a game that has good things about it. Um, if you're kind of interested in the genre, you should check it out to see if maybe you might enjoy it in the long run. The next would be buy. Uh, this is an option for people to support the developers because they the, the product that you have is a good product and if you do like the genre, you will enjoy the game. So that is something that is considered a buy, uh, at least in my book. And then a must buy is a step above that, whereas you don't even have to be a fan of a particular genre or IP to really appreciate the game. Um, if it's a game that, that just screams quality, it's something that you should invest your time into and, and your money. And so those would be a must buy. You know, I think a system like this kind of facilitates a more open mind when it comes to games. Um, I had a really great uh, argument and discussion with one of my friends, uh, you know, Barra Kills. Uh, you guys will see the conversation that we had in a, on blackonlyblog.com. There will be a post. And we had a conversation about you know, Battlefield versus Call of Duty. And one of, the, one of the things that came up was that Battlefield had a Metacritic that was higher than... Battlefield 4 had a Metacritic that was higher than Call of Duty Ghosts. And at the same time, the same Metacritic system was saying that Modern Warfare 3 was better than Battlefield 4 most people in general didn't feel that way that's the other problem i have with the scoring system when it comes to numbers is that they're all reflective of other games that are out there not necessarily to its own standards so a game that can get a 9 out of 10 one year another year that will come out that a better version of the game will be out a better iteration is better in every way can end up getting an 8.5 so your expectations of what a game should be 
uh, it has been raised at that point. Every year, you know, developers, designers have come out with new and interesting ways to top what they've done before. And so scores from two or three years ago that still say the game was a 9.5 out of 10, if you look at the scores and are thinking about buying that, the, the time has passed already for that game to have been in its prime. It's in comparison to other games that exist. So that is a huge flaw in the scoring system, and I think we need to get away from the scoring system. Um, certain sites do this, handle this a little bit better by having it on a five scale system, but even then, many of them do the you know 3.5 out of five scale system, and like that information is only helpful. It's only helpful for maybe the developers to say that we have this score at a certain number, but it's not helpful for the average consumer. I don't know. I, I, I feel that the system is flawed in a lot of ways. And also, you know, there are many sites out there that get paid a certain number uh, depending on, on what they what they review a game. So they get paid to do reviews. The websites and the companies themselves are getting paid by the developer or the publishers to give them better scores. And so we've we've seen the controversy about this and you know the, all the shenanigans that went down all over the place, but it's a it's a system that that needs reform. Anyway, uh, that's my proposition. That's how I'm going to review games, and that's what I'm going to do moving forward. Uh, if you've already seen my last review, you'll see that that's the system I used. Um, anyway, if you guys have your own comments, your own thoughts, and things that you agree with or don't agree with, feel free to leave a comment down below. YouTube has finally fixed their comment section, so that should be all good to go. Again, the re one of the biggest reasons why I'm doing it in, in terms of words as opposed to numbers is because the words give you context in of its own. You don't have to look into any number metric system. You don't have to analyze any of the information. It's straight up. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I should just do you know three, if it should just be pass, try, or buy. Um, either way, I'm open to suggestions, and again, I want to facilitate the idea of allowing people to go into reviews open-minded, and it's it's helping me to kind of look at games a little bit less a little bit less nitpicky and more critical. It's it's really important to have a distinct difference between those things. Um, you know, a lot of reviewers out there that I respect a lot have said in videos that they don't like what reviewing has done for their level of enjoyment in games and I completely understand where that comes from because when you start looking at things a very analytical way in a very nitpicky way it ruins the enjoyment that you can get from the game whereas if you're looking at it constructively and critically you can say you know th this clearly is a mechanic of the, of the game or the movie or the book that is not working properly and for this reason, you know, for these reasons, I don't find myself as gravitated, blah, 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 yada, yada. So um, share the word, share the video with other people, other reviewers and other gamers alike so that they can know that I'm trying to push this initiative and hopefully you guys will too. Anyway, if you like the video, press the like button, of course, and subscribe. Check out all the other videos on the Black Oni channel. There are tons of podcasts, tons of gameplay videos. There's one review of a game so far, but there will be more, so don't worry about that. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Game on. G-Blaze out.